The 19th of December was supposed to mark the end of President Joseph Kabila's term in office in the DRC, but then he announced he'd be staying on for longer. He postponed elections and then appointed an opposition politician as his prime minister, a way to keep his opponents silent. As the battle for political power goes on, the east of the country remains in a grim state. About 1.6 million people have been displaced by fighting here. Experts say there are close to 70 armed groups operating in the area, each with between a few dozen and a few thousand fighters. Generally, they are terror to the local population. But some militia have support from local populations, and that's what makes this country and its issues so complex. And that's a major challenge for the security forces and their allies. This is a huge country, the second largest in Africa, and it's rich in natural resources. But it's also been the scene of nearly two decades of conflict. That's unlikely to end soon, and as always, it's the civilians who suffer the most.